Junior Master Herbalist here with Z Natural Foods and today's topic of discussion is going to be about simplicity. Um, in one of my previous videos where I talked about self-reliance I had mentioned that the self-reliance simplicity series of videos is going to be three or four videos. Well today is specifically about simplicity and even there are certain topics within this um, excuse me, there are certain parts of this topic that I'm going to discuss in individualized videos as well, okay? So today is what you might call an overview of why simplicity is important and the need for simplicity in, one, in a person's life, okay? To be, to be truly healthy, one of the keys to being truly healthy is living a balanced life and a balanced approach to your life is really more accurate when I say it that way. Um, so you can eat the perfect diet and take all the superfoods and herbs you want, but if other areas of your life, like um, you have too much clutter or you have toxic people in your life, then you will only achieve a certain level of well-being and you will only take it to a certain level because those other things are sort of what's preventing you from being truly free in your pursuit to being a well-balanced individual, okay? Again, like self-reliance, this is a work in progress. And again, many of you may never simply achieve this perfect balance or this perfect level of simplicity. Um, but again, the process itself being a teaching process, you'll learn mu so much. And just from the teachings that you, that you um, learn from this process, or I should say from the lessons you learn in this process, you're going to become a healthier person and a better person for it. So truth is, it's a win-win situation, as long as you're committed to moving forward, okay? So, in order to live a, a life of true simplicity, you have to understand what clutter is, okay? Most people have way, way too much clutter in their life, whether it's physical clutter, emotional clutter. You know, some people like to use the term baggage. I'm not a big fan of that word, but you know, it, it again, it is a fairly accurate word to use when you're describing the scenario and or situation of what clutter does to people, okay? <clears throat> clutter, cl back. clutter is defined as anything that is toxic to you and your environment and prevents you from moving forward physically, emotionally, or spiritually, okay? And this is important because we all have these things in our lives and most often why we still have them and why we don't get rid of them is based off of fear, okay? The fear of the unknown of what happens when and if we do get rid of them. Um, again, part of the learning process, okay? The question that you need to ask yourself is, how much crap do I really need, okay? And that's important, and that's part of uh, the important tool of evaluating yourself and being honest with yourself. Most people are never going to be truly honest with themselves, and if you have a good friend who you're really close to and who really knows you, uh, I would suggest you use them as a part of this training tool in order to get to the bottom of what you need to get to the bottom of. I often don't suggest you use family members because family members, they, they often won't be as honest as you want them to be because, you know, they care too much about you. And therefore, there's always going to be that bias of, I don't want to hurt this person's feelings because I love them and I care about them. So that's why a good friend or even an acquaintance who knows you extremely well, okay? Because the more separated that person is from you uh, in an emotional way, the better off you are when it comes to using them as a part of this growing and training tool, okay? <clears throat> another highlight or another point I wanna make when it comes to simplicity is that most people really have a lack of understanding of what is truly essential. <laughs> if you want to know the truth, food, water, shelter, and clothing are, all, are the only essentials we have and need in life. Everything else is a plus and an extra, okay? The cell phones, the iPhones, the A phones, the B phones, all this nonsense, the Facebook, the this, the that, 
All that, none of it is a necessity. Those are all wants and desires. They are not necessities, okay? If you have a better understanding of what a necessity is, it'll be easier for you to be able to fulfill the need to live a simpler life because you will, you will either be able to get rid of the clutter and on top of that, you'll also be very conscious every time you go and purchase something if what you're purchasing is actually going to be a necessity or not, okay? And again, this is one of the areas I'm going to do a separate video on, okay? There are two types of clutters. There's sentimental clutter and there is overconsumption clutter. <laughs> I'm going to briefly go over these as highlights for this specific video. Sentimental clutter is things that have been passed down from generation to generation from loved ones, maybe in a will, or maybe even if it wasn't in a will, it was just something that your grandma gave to you, your mom or your dad. And it could even just be a lot of pictures or, you know, um, mementos that um, people that you're close to gave to you. And this is something that's really hard for most people to get rid of. But if you really understand where the importance in these things lies, you'll understand that these things aren't what's important. It's the memory of that person. It's the time you spent with them. It's, the, it's, it's all those wonderful memories that you had with that person that really matter. So if you have a thousand pictures, make one little album of your favorite pictures and get rid of the other pictures. It's just causing too much clutter in your life, okay? The other kind of clutter is overconsumption clutter. This is the big one for most people. And most often when someone moves, especially when they own a home and they move to another home, this is the classical way to find that you have too much clutter. If you need more than one big truck to move you, you have way too much stuff. And it's no way near a necessity to have all that stuff, okay? So again, overconsumption clutter is how many pairs of shoes do you need? How many shirts do you need? How many pair of pants does one person need? We have closets full of junk that most people don't even use or wear in most cases, and they end up giving away anyway, okay? So that's another highlight of looking at the overall picture of simplicity, okay? And then the, the final one is... <clears throat> Deciding who is toxic in your life. This is perhaps the toughest one of all of them because the truth is is that no one ever wants to admit that there's toxic people in their life because it, those toxic people have a way of bringing balance to your life because of the fact that you have the good ones and you have the bad ones, okay? You have those people you constantly fight with and it gets balanced out by those people that you constantly have wonderful experiences with. So. This is the hardest part because more times than not, it's family members that are the toxic ones in your life. And if you truly want to live a nourishing and wonderful life, you need to eliminate those people from your life, okay? So guys, this was just a simple overview of what's to come for more videos about the topic of simplicity. I hope that this is sort of giving you a, a nice simple overview of what we're going to be discussing in the future, okay? I'll talk to you all soon. Have a great day.